Imagine that one day you had a legal right to do a particular act or own certain property, but the very next day the legislature enacted a statute that retroactively abolished the right you had possessed the day before. Would such a retrospective law violate the United States Constitution? The United States Supreme Court first addressed this issue in 1798 in Calder v. Bull. Abigail Bull was the beneficiary of Norman Morrison's will. After Morrison died, Janet Calder claimed that the will was invalid and that she was entitled to Morrison's estate under Connecticut's law of intestate succession. A lawsuit between Calder and Bull ensued in Connecticut probate court. Under the law at the time, the women's husbands, John Calder and Caleb Bull, had to be named as parties in the lawsuit on behalf of their wives. The probate court ruled that the will was invalid, meaning Janet Calder stood to inherit Morrison's estate. After the Bull's time for appealing the probate court's judgment lapsed, they petitioned the Connecticut legislature to pass a resolution that voided the probate court's decision and allowed for a new trial. The legislature passed it. At the new trial, the probate court ruled in favor of the Bulls. The Calders then appealed to the Connecticut Superior Court, which affirmed the judgment of the trial court. On the Calders' further appeal, the Supreme Court of Errors of Connecticut affirmed the judgment of the Superior Court. The Calders then appealed to the United States Supreme Court. 